Okay, this uh, is by way of summary of uh, some of the concepts we've learned so far this semester. Uh, and so I have written down here three really, really important concepts that we've talked about, we've used to solve problems. So I just kind of want to talk briefly about how they're uh, similar and how they're different. First of all, let me say that uh, in, in the cases of these two guys, uh, these are simplified definitions. Uh, remember specifically this one, this one, which is uh, the expression for work, is a simplified version of the actual work definition, which involves an integral. But I I want to put them in this form, in the simplified form, to show you uh, some things uh, that sort of fall out at you when you're when you're looking at them. So first of here, of course, we have Newton's second law, which is our our go-to guy for a lot a lot of problems, and, and it deals with the net force and it relates it to the uh, acceleration. Of course, you can break this into components and things of that nature, but notice that it's related to the acceleration through the mass. And so, mass is going to play an interesting role in all of these equations, but it relates, just to summarize, relates the total force to the acceleration of an object, and it relates it specifically through the object's mass. The second one that I've written here is the work energy theorem, this guy right here. Uh, and so, again, we're dealing with a, a net force, and this time we are seeing what happens to what we're looking at if we multiply this by a displacement. And again, this is a simplified definition, but if, if we accept that, we take a net force and multiply it by a displacement, what we come up with is the difference in kinetic energy. And if we unpack the difference in kinetic energy term, what we come up with is 1 half m delta v squared. Now, we're making the assumption that the mass has not changed, Right, so I'm able to factor out the, this m, but again, this is relating um, the kinetic energy to uh, the change in velocity, and it's relating it, it's relating that through the mass right here. So mass is showing up in some interesting places. Uh, clearly, if we're dealing with mechanics problems, mass is a very very important quantity. Uh, the third one that I've written here is uh, impulse momentum. Uh, so here we have the calculation of the impulse, and it's equal to the change in momentum, in total momentum. And of course, assuming constant m, we get an m here times the change in velocity just from the definition of momentum. So three different techniques that we've used to solve problems. And whichever one you apply, of course, depends on what you're being asked. But typically speaking, uh, in the work energy and um, impulse momentum, You've got the net force, but you're multiplying it by a different quantity. You've got a displacement here in work energy. You've got a time interval here in impulse momentum. So that should give you some clues as to which approach to take.